Hello guys, so today we're going over this Blu-ray sales for the year and they finally changed the numbers. Endgame has had been adjusted up to like a 30 war wars. Obviously, and it's at now at 4.7 million copies. And yesterday it was like at 4 point, you know, you know, 2 million copies. It was like around 4.4, 4.3 million copies. But now Endgame has now reached nearly, and it also passed 1 million copies in DVD. Yes, <laughs> 1 million people bought Endgame on DVD. So yeah, we go on the home video charts. The DVD chart will be going over first. The DVDs seem to be dying out, which, of course, is the, you know, is the world worst version of Blu-rays. And, yeah, Aquaman is the best-selling DVD of the year. The DVD sales have not been updated, but I won't be surprised at number four and number five. The Disney Wogo movies pass a million copies. By the end of its right, by the end of that next year, same thing with How Trade Dragon Hidden Road as well. So, yeah, those movies will probably pass a million copies because two of them have Dizzy's logo. And, you know, yeah, this is the DVD sales. DVDs are kind of on their way out. You know, it, it was actually worse than six movies last year, but Blu rays is at now 17 total movies. It's actually on the same as last year. So yeah, the Mary Poppins of Tones are probably past a million copies on Blu-ray with Godzilla as well. But there was one important movie that had sold a lot of copies on Blu-ray slash DVD. Yes, besides Endgame, which we already gone over, Endgame has been adjusted up. Yeah, the first minute, two minutes of the video has been dedicated to talk about Endgame's Blu-ray success. There's another movie that there was a movie that had been unexpectedly doing a lot better on DVD than it did in theaters and Blu-ray. There was Dark Phoenix. Which, of course, it's a superhero movie, so of course, it'll overperform on Blu ray. Considering that Dark Phoenix did, did god awful in feeders and only go $60 million in feeders. Or we have a movie like, you know, uh, Spider Man and Spider Verse 3 really outselling The Grinch and Aladdin, which, you know, Aladdin made like $300 million. Or we have Aquaman being our Captain Marvel, even though Captain Marvel made more domestically than Aquaman. I still want to see, see Joker beat. Captain Marvel. Joker will, I'm making this prediction, Joker will be Captain Marvel. <laughs> there's no way it won't, okay? There's no way it won't, okay? That Joker is going to be in the top 10 best selling movies next year on Blu ray and DVD. And sadly, probably Frozen 2, even though, yeah, Frozen 2 is garbage, but yeah, a lot of people will buy it just because it has Disney's logo, it has a Disney cover, and all that stuff, okay? And you know, you have movies like Fast and Furious, which that is much lower because that's a newer movie. And we have newer movies down here like It's Chapter 2 and Game of Thrones Season 8 at 32. So they haven't updated that yet at, at all. So yeah, now we're going over Alita Battle Angel. Yes, Alita Battle Angel has passed 1 million copies. As I predicted earlier this year, some movies that I'm disappointed in like Halloween. Okay, this movie, that movie still passed 1 million copies because of that season Halloween. But no one bought it. <laughs> no one bought Halloween. Okay. You know, man, back to that, Dark Phoenix, though, surprisingly sold a million copies. I was expecting the Goonies to pass a million copies as well, but it never did this year. And most, and most of the Goonies sales are DVD anyways, so, but now we're going to read about it. So this movie has now resurpassed one million copies. So yes, a read about it has sold one million copies. It is actually at the bottom of the list of movies that sold a million copies, but it's doing far better in a movie that, like us, was us sold two times more copies than Alita, but sold two times less Blu-rays than Alita, okay? You have a movie like Us, which they popped up and said it was a masterpiece, but no one went to go see it. And no one bought it in Blu-ray. It's not one of the worst selling Blu-rays. It sold worse than Descendants Free, a direct DVD movie, okay? It sold worse than the crappy Lionsgate Robin Hood movie, okay? You know, it sold worse than the Nutcracker and the Four Realms, okay? That's showing, that's showing how poorly this movie did, okay? And you have movies like Once Upon a Hollywood, but that's like like three weeks of sales, so you can't really mock that movie. And then we have Angel Has Fallen, which has been which has been extremely successful on Blu-ray. It has been extremely successful, selling nearly one million copies. It will probably pass a million copies. The critics said, Oh, Angel Has Fallen sucks so much. It's an uninteresting action movie. Oh, it's no, it has no story, you know, it doesn't have, you know, it doesn't have the five people on Twitter movie, okay? And the movie is now about to beat Halloween. And movie like Halloween and, Homo and you know, the mule 
movie that made more money than Angel has formed. Angel has formed barely made more money than Dark Phoenix. And it's probably gonna pass a million copies as well. Okay. So yeah, a real battle angel has now reached one million copies here. It has reached one million. This is not any fake. They finally realized that hey, we we really removed two hundred thousand copies from a real battle angel sales. And it makes no sense that they removed all those copies so all those people who bought the movie yeah, they they, they, they they weren't really represented, okay? We, you know, the, but now the movie has broke the 1 million copy. It has passed $23 million, so yes, it has made officially in America, no, in America, $100 million, including with Blu rays. So yeah, it has made $100 million in America with the Blu ray sales. A movie like Dark Phoenix will never do that because Dark Phoenix is garbage, okay? It's probably that movie even sold 1 million copies. I was thinking it won't, but yeah, it did have Disney covers, so I bet that attracted some people to go in to see this movie. It did have, and it actually made less money than A Read About Angel. It made less money, but it sold more copies, okay? It sold more copies, but it's made less money than A Read okay? Made less money. That's basically, so that's basically it. Goodbye.